Hi, my friends. Here I am looking at the uh, the grave, the unknown prospector. You know, how many people have died in the mountains or the oceans and the valleys that only God knows where they're buried, right? And this this uh, thing points to that. It talks about how all our ancestors who explored and prospected the land to pave the way for us, right? And uh, so the thing is, I was thinking about this, is that it's amazing when you think about how, you know, how these people, you know, looking for a new beginning or a new start, right? They obviously weren't satisfied with what they were doing with their money or situation. That's so how they went prospecting. Some probably just did the joy. It's like, uh, like that song, I was born of the wandering star. The, uh, you know, uh, which one was that? Ah, anyway, I was born of the wandering star song, right? And, uh, but you know, some of these people, they're just looking for a new beginning, right? And adventure and stuff like that. So that's what we're all doing. You know, some prospecting for gold, for money, some prospecting for spirituality, trying to find God. And so we're doing both. I was kind of on both, many things. You know, so we're all kind of prospectors, aren't we? Even today, we're all prospecting and looking for those answers and those truths and stuff like that. We are still seeing some people digging for those truths, right? But anyway, I'm going to show you this. This is beautiful. I mean, just, you got this, uh, the mountains here and stuff like that. Just awesome, isn't it? And you can actually see Mammoth Lakes, the ski resort, at the back side of it, right through there. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I guess they're opening in a couple of days or something already, so that's it's pretty impressive. They have to use that artificial snow, I bet you, or something, because otherwise, I mean, they've had some snow, but I wouldn't imagine enough here to avoid rock skiing. <laughs> so anyway, all right. So um, that's, uh, you know, I was going to say some more about this, but I just don't know what to say, you know. Um, hope this, this gentleman found his way to uh, the heavens. I'll pray for that once we get done. I don't want to have to uh, take your time to do that. Pray that he found his way. And uh, all these other things, right? But, but you know, the thing is, if you're going to die somewhere, not a bad place to be, right? Out here, you know. Um, you know, we can't choose the exact location, but it ain't too bad, you know. Some people say they wish they had passed away in their sleep, you know. To me, I want to go down the ball of flames fighting for God, the glory of God. <laughs> I told God, I said, man, if you have telling me I want to go down a ball of flames, man, I want to be, I want to be the one that just, one of those, one of those that just goes down a ball of flames. <laughs> that gave it up my all, you know. Chariots of fire, man, I want the, I want the chariot burning, man, my suburban, whatever. So I went down for the glory of God, man, I want to be in some kind of silent, uh, well, whispering voice out of here, right? But anyway, I was trying to see this real quick while I'm here if there's anything spiritual in those mountains, but I don't see anything right now. I do not. No angel architect stuff like this. Yeah. Oh, there is a guy. Wait, there is a gentleman, I think. I'm trying to get in here. I hope you can see this. I don't know if you can see that guy right there in the dead center. Looks like somebody in there. Yes! I see a face and stuff. I'm going to try to zoom in closer so you can see this. Take a photo. Anyway, see that right in there? Oh, hopefully I can get it. I'm trying to get where. Jeez, I hope it's. I'll try to overblast it. Right in there. Hope you can see that. Oh, and on my a real quick while on my video about the, uh, I did a really poor job on that uh, how to charge an Aquan battery fast. I apologize. It was only me, and I couldn't have someone held the camera. You know, hold my phone while I'm trying to show you how to do that. So I'll probably do another one. I apologize. I'll do them better. So just comment to me. I, you know, I can hurt my feelings. You know, people don't have to say, you know, don't mean disrespect. Just say it. I, I mean, geez, you're not gonna hurt my feelings. Just tell me. Say, hey, you know, Kirk, that was a crappy video, man. That just stunk. Because I can't prove those things. You do a better job unless you tell me. And I knew I did kind of bad now, but I just didn't know what to do about it. So I'll take my time and try to figure out a better way of showing you how I did it and stuff like that. Because it was pretty bad. So, thank you for the gentleman who said, "Hey, you know, please do a better job on these." Because, you know, you're, you know. So I hope I didn't waste anybody's time with that either, because nobody's busy. All right, um, that's about it. Oh, I got one more thing. I, I was going to say anything about it, but there's a lady who's uh, uh, this morning. 
I just trying to help correct her behavior and stuff like that. And she's another one of those uh, video YouTube and I know God, God talks to me and I'm a prophet and this, I'm sorry, you are not. Your behavior is disgusting, filthy, and I told you again, don't you ever threaten anybody. Don't threaten me, anybody else on this earth. You get it? Yeah, she didn't threaten me, folks. She said, she said all these nasty things about me. You can't call me names. You know what? I'm just going to let it go. You know, but I'm telling you. I mean, I'm not, I don't have time for these games and drama and this other. She's got a lot of growing up to do. And I hope you're watching this video even. Because I want you to respond. I want you to apologize to me and other people that you've insulted and threatened. And I want you to do a video on your YouTube channel. And you can unsubscribe to mine if you want to. I really don't give a crap. And, and apologize for your behavior. You need to grow up and quit being a male hater and quit hating people and quit insulting and telling me I need to repent. And, uh, and another one, I've been called Satan and everything in the book. You, you can call me something worse. Call me the Satan, the King of Satan, right? The King of the Lord, you can call me King of Satan, lady. And you're so disrespectful and she claims she's all godly in this. You don't know squat. And I read her in 10 seconds when I first went to her YouTube channel. So don't even, see that's the thing is, I've got a gift that the other side gave me. Thank God. Thank you, Father in Heaven. I'll say thank you, Lord. I can read through bull crap like you've never seen in 10 seconds. I can read your heart and your true soul. And you better get out of Satan's control, lady. Because you're 100% under his thumb. You're praying to the wrong God, right? So that's it. I know. And I'll give you a warning. Warnings don't lie to me or anybody else. Because I'll read right through your bull crap. You understand me? And I want you to apologize to me and everybody else. And then she blocked me because I'm trying to help correct her behavior. Keep blocking the road. Block until your ears are full. If you have enough respect, says folks, I'm going to tell you one more thing. If you are a true leader man, you can say whatever you want to me, I'll never block you. It's called keeping your eyes, keeping your ears open and listening. Listening to people are trying to help you. Listen for once. Listen. Even if it's something you don't want to hear. Even if it's the nastiest thing, they, they call on you everything or trying to tell you something that just makes you want to puke. You listen. It even says in Scripture, God gave you two ears and one tongue. Learn to use those two ears more than that one tongue. All right, so let's not take that native moment. Uh, so I just want to, I uh, hope she watches this. And I want her to apologize to, to me and everybody else. I don't really need an apology. You don't need to apologize to me. Apologize to other people, okay? All right, so nothing going about that. You know, grow up. Grow up, man. These people claim they're, and we got so many. I don't think there's one true, uh, it's other you probably brothers and sisters that help me. There is not one true person out there that, uh, you know, there's so many false prophets, like I said, at the end of times. I'm with God. God told me this. Lord told me that. And you, <laughs> okay, but we don't need to go on about that. All right, let's enjoy the beauty. Let's not focus on that, okay? All right, love you all. Take care and God bless.